I finally sold my 250 this week. And I didn't lose too much money on it. I'm pretty excited about that. What's up, YouTube? Dapper Dan here. Uh, it's a little bit of a cold day here in Colorado. It's probably, I don't know, 60 degrees right now. It definitely got colder a little faster than I thought it was going to. Anyway, uh, today we are going to be talking about lane splitting. As some of you may know, uh, California recently, actually this past week, officially made lane splitting completely legal in that state. And yeah, that's a good thing, I think, in my opinion. Now, other states need to uh, follow suit and make it legal. And here are some reasons why. Look at that, there's already snow in the mountains. Oh, over there, there's just a bunch of snow. Hopefully I can make it through the rest of October without any snow on the ground. The first good thing about lane splitting, obviously, is it saves time. Uh, motorcycles, we can just cut through the traffic and get to our destination a lot faster. But it not only saves time for us, but it also saves time for someone driving a car. Uh, and how it does that is the motorcycle isn't sitting in traffic. Since the motorcycle isn't sitting in traffic and we're actually in between traffic, that allows the car to be able to take that spot that the motorcycle was in and you can move up a spot, the person behind you can move up a spot, everybody gets to move up a spot so it'll help reduce traffic like that. And another reason that it's a good thing is motorcycles will not overheat in traffic, especially air-cooled bikes. If they're just sitting in traffic, they definitely will overheat. This bike, if I'm sitting in traffic, it'll definitely get pretty hot. On a summer day, it'll get to 220 and that's when the fans kick on and they have to cool it down. But if we're split lanes and in between traffic, we'll get nice airflow and keep the bikes cooler. And another reason uh, for lane splitting is it severely reduces the likelihood of a rear-end accident if a car rear-ending a motorcycle. Ooh, nice GT350. I like it. Very nice. If a motorcycle is in between two cars, it's almost impossible for the motorcycle to get rear-ended. The car won't be able to fit in between two cars and be able to chase after the motorcycle to rear-end it in the first place. So, that's another good reason about it. Pretty much the only way an accident would be able to happen is say you're in between cars and a car in front of you uh, decides to change lanes and they don't check uh, what's in their mirror and they just try and change lanes anyway and you're coming up on them. The only way that you could really get in an accident is if you hit them. But if you're not going too extremely fast in between the lanes, you'll have plenty of time to react and brake and slow down and not run into that car. So just if you're going to be lane splitting, you can, let's say they make a rule no more than 10 miles an hour faster than the surrounding traffic. And that will increase uh, your reaction time and you'll be able to stop quicker. You can react faster to what's in front of you and you don't have to worry about what's behind you really and what's on either side because you got cars on either side of you that aren't hopefully aren't changing lanes. The problem with it not being legal is people who drive cars are not going to be expecting it so if they ever did legalize it, they would definitely have to put the word out that it's legal and 
inform people, inform everybody that it's going to be happening because drivers won't be expecting you to be going in between the lanes. And half of these people out here on the road are texting and driving anyway, so they're not even paying attention. But once it does become legal, um, people will start to expect it some more after about a year. Then they'll be fully used to it and educating all the new drivers about it as they're getting their license will, will definitely help as well. They're going to have to set some rules in place uh, for lane splitting whenever it does become uh, officially legal everywhere. Like it obviously wouldn't work on a single lane road like this. There's nowhere to split between lanes unless you want to go into the bike lane on the side of the road or into oncoming traffic, which both are potentially very dangerous. So they'll have to make some kind of rules for that. And if traffic is at a dead stop, um, the bikes that are lane splitting, if they're not like zooming through traffic, they won't have any problems at all. If they're going like 30 miles an hour while, tra while the rest of their traffic is stopped around them, that's completely safe, in my opinion. Probably even up to f like 45 miles an hour, that would be pretty safe while everyone else is stopped. That way you have enough time to react to whatever happens in front of you. And in case someone dart is, darts out into your lane, um, then you can have plenty of time to stop. But anyway guys, that's my opinion on lane splitting. Hopefully California did it, and hopefully the rest of the states will follow suit. I do think it really is a little bit safer for motorcycles. It's legal in most countries around the world, and the only place it's technically legal in the United States is California, so the rest of the states can follow through and the world will be a better place but anyway guys that's all i got for right now thanks for liking commenting and subscribing and have a good day